Guess who's back in the house? Hi guys, this is your girl Lisa Joya. This is my eighth time trying to get this video right. And I'm having the hardest time ever. As part of this title says, I am no longer vegan. I would also like to take the time right now to apologize to any of those that felt like I was trying to superimpose my lifestyle, my diet, um, onto you. If I done that to you, I would like to apologize to you. I have since reflected on my actions. I have looked at my own YouTube videos and reflected on those as well to really properly understand from a po possible your perspective perspective on uh, what I might have done to you. Now, veganism is a great lifestyle, great choice. I am not dissing it at all whatsoever. But I would like to do apologize to those that I had made feel like I was suppressing, superimposing my lifestyle um, onto you. It's not your path. It was my path. And I should not have imposed my path onto you. That makes sense. Hey guys, I have been officially vegan for since 2010 okay and um it come after a great time of me being sick and being um unwell on so many different levels um as before i got diagnosed with the cancer um and i was uh then i was figuring out if i if it if I was vegan, what was this? What was that? And I was seeking the advice of a doctor at that point because I suffer from IDA, which is iron deficiency anemia. And, um, I already have a hard time digesting complex proteins as it is from me being hospitalized a lot when I was younger. I used to get sick a lot. I was in car accident. Um, say they pumped me with so much antibiotics that ruined my own gut flora on a permanent basis that I have a hard time even digesting even vegan complex proteins, even to this day. So because I have to eat and I need those complex proteins to be digested, I needed yogurt and probiotics from yogurt. So a year and a half ago, I started really incorporating yogurt into my diet and now I'm able to digest properly and I'm able to eat a lot better. I started to gain weight, started feeling better. I didn't change anything else in my diet. I was mostly vegan except for the yogurt, <laughs> but I was feeling better over time. But I was hospitalized a lot when I was younger and it permanently destroyed my gut flora and um so if i was having a hard time digesting regular uh proteins like beef chicken steak all that stuff when i went vegan i thought it, the veganism was going to be the cure-all but it turned out to be a helpful tool yes but it wasn't a cure-all but it did not come to my attention that it was doing any disservice to me until later down the road. Now the advantage when I was vegan is that I lost a lot of weight and I had a really nice six pack and I did videos on my channel about my weight loss journey and how I was feeling on my vegan journey. However, um, I was noticing different things happening. For instance, my hair was thinning. And it this was before I got diagnosed with cancer. 
I'm looking at this hindsight, but I didn't notice it then in the moment. I was looking at my photos, my YouTube videos. Um, I was looking at my skin quality. Um, I was looking at me breaking out. My abdomen was swelling. Um, I had all these different things going on that I didn't know. Some of it might have been part of my cancer happening, or it could have been the fact that my IDA was so out of control. Now, if you guys don't know what IDA is, it's iron deficiency anemia. And it's when you have a lack of iron in your blood. And iron is very essential for uh, having oxygen in your blood. So parts of your body can get the oxygen it needs. Otherwise, it just dies. And um, at that time, uh, my iron deficiency was... Um, maybe at the six, which was very low for being a woman. Uh, a woman was between uh, like 11 and 17, according to uh, uh, my doctors. And unfortunately, I was struggling with it. And I was trying to find something to help me with my IDA, my iron deficiency anemia. And um, th uh, that seemed at the moment help me out but i noticed that in the process even people who have ida have thinning hair and uh, me going vegan it seemed like at first my hair was growing back and i was like oh wow this is awesome you know what i mean then i noticed that prolonged into my veganism and mind you this is hindsight i wasn't looking at this then i'm looking at it now like after the fact my hair actually looked like it was getting thicker and then all of a sudden started getting thinner over time. Now let's go back in 2012. Um, I got diagnosed with stage 2 breast cancer in my left breast. I've been documenting this when I found out I had this cancer. Okay, It's not like something I'm like super liking to talk about because I like to view myself as immortal um i don't like to show my weaknesses but i also know how important showing showing your weaknesses and your vulnerability is very beneficial for your personal growth and this is what i'm here for my personal growth um also my my path my new path is different now than it was then it's just like my diet is different now than it was back then so my hair was thinning. Um, I noticed that my my skin texture was changing, and I noticed I'm, I'm getting older. I mean, I know that skin changes differently when you're aging. You're getting older. You know, I'm not as young as I used to be, but um, I was starting to feel sicker. And then I found out the cancer. I had cancer, and I learned on different. Um, methods on cancer treatments and the cancer treatment that I was doing was not okay to do in the United States. I was only able to do it in Mexico. Now these cancer treatments that I was under, like I said, were um, only available in Mexico. And uh, part of that treatment was trials and I had to keep signing over NDAs. <laughs> um, and I had I was under the stipulation that I was under uh, human clinical trials. So the stuff that is coming out now, I was probably on um, when I was in Mexico. But in during those uh, trials, they changed my diet even much more severe than what I was doing. I was they put me on a hundred percent raw vegan diet. And what they were trying to do is they were trying to increase my my pH in my body um, because uh, cancers cannot survive in a high pH environment. Now, um, so I went, they put me on a vegan diet, raw vegan diet, and it seemed like everything was going great and the cancer medication was working, the different trials they had me on. I was able to go over the border via an escort. I had a, a special escort uh, take me over to the border, to the trolley, 
and then from the trolley my dad would pick me up from the trolley in San Ysidro and then he would proceed to drive me home and then um, on the weekend I would visit with my son and then I would be going back to the trolley and then I would have um, an escort there with me on the trolley to San Ysidro then I would have to take a special taxi with that with that same escort back to the trot to the uh to the clinic i was at in mexico for all these trials for the other five days in a row being connected to an iv i still got my iv port uh scars all over this particular arm um and i got to be a little bit on the thin side because of that now um my problem that i had during that time which i did not see at that moment but i see now is that i noticed that i was feeling this great abundance of energy and then i crash like suddenly and the problem other problem that i had is um i felt now now thinking about the the feeling of the energy was temporal it wasn't permanent it wasn't like long over said it's abundant energy and i i felt great for a moment but then i would like crash down kind of like coffee or caffeine does to you for me it was also the fact that i noticed not only was my skin changing i was breaking out in rosacea really bad rosacea i mean it was like so bad it was like splotchy it looked like really bad eczema plus my skin was sinking in partially because of the cancer trials the medicine they were putting me on the special stuff they were putting me on and the vegan diet i wasn't getting enough nutrients in my body I wasn't getting enough calories i wasn't getting enough fats i wasn't getting enough carbs i it was just all raw veganism stuffs and when i came back from the trials i did adopt some of that stuff and I have that documented where I was trying to do the raw vegan smoothies and um, and all that stuff for my diet. Because that's what I needed to do to survive, I guess, at that point. But veganism, at the end, took its toll on me because um, after I was done with those trials, um, I was still doing the vegan diet the way that... I was instructed to from the doctors in Mexico even after I was cancer free and my my um, freaking iron went from being a six which is already pretty low as it is to a 1.2 I was literally on death's door not from cancer from IDA so I had to adjust my veganism because I didn't want to quit the veganism and i want to quit the lifestyle because you know the whole mantra is saving animals saving saving the earth saving this saving save 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 the key word is save and i love preserving life um that is my past that's my past i like preserving life whether it's um saving an animal um helping somebody Opening the door for somebody, being kind to somebody as best as I can. Um, but I wasn't preserving myself. You know what I mean? Looking at this hindsight. And veganism to me at that moment was exciting, it was exhilarating. It was, oh, I'm saving the earth. I'm saving the earth. I'm saving the planet. You know? And I wanted everybody else to be just like me. And then now looking at it, no, not everybody else could be just like me. Only me could be like me. And if somebody doesn't walk that path, there's no right of mine to force myself and my beliefs onto somebody. It's not right of me. So after all these self-reflections, I realized that I can't do that. And I also discovered um, even more so about me not able to eat these complex proteins i can't eat beef i can't eat steak 
I can't eat stuff. I can't eat. I can't even eat vegan complex proteins. I can't eat tofu. I can't eat beans and rice together. Um, without having yogurt first, I cannot. I can not. I feel so horrible. I feel so sluggish. I feel like there's a brick in my stomach. Um, my digestion is through the roof without the um the stupid um yogurt in my diet and so i'm just so i started to since being here um i've had yogurt again and i've been feeling fantastic i have energy through the roof through the through the roof i mean it's completely night and day so i am not vegan anymore and it's for my health and also I want to talk to about something else i when i became um vegan i was living on the west coast where everything vegan is an abundant you have vegan stores vegan this stores that have vegan specialty this vegan specialty that vegan restaurants uh things where you can veganize everywhere on the west coast however here where i moved to the east coast it's the south my next door neighbors got cows and horses i have chickens and rep my rescues and down the road maybe down the road my, my other my other neighbor has horses and they have goats i mean i live in the country country where you can see the stars at night we don't have stores on every single corner of of the you know so close by so easily accessible out out here however on the west coast you have it so accessible they give you coupons for the stuff so you can save money on the stuff it's more accessible so the cost of it's down but here in the south everything's so expensive because it is a farm type town where everybody relies on the animals to eat and to survive and the land to survive so the cost of animals is cheaper but the cost of vegan products is like through the roof expensive and there's no coupons or well, at least there's not that many coupons i've not been able to get on any vegan vegan coupon mailers there's only one store in town that has a very small dedicated vegan like cheese and vegan butter and vegan has tofu and it has like these uh specialty you know vegan or plant-based milks and uh uh mayonnaise stuff like that you know what i mean it's like but it's like eight dollars for a mayonnaise literally eight dollars for a mayonnaise eight dollars for a mayonnaise i used to eat uh um the vegan burgers from light life from oh gosh for the other company but i used to eat vegan burgers i used to eat all that type of stuff i realized all that soy was causing me pain I stopped eating so much soy products now. Now I don't have pain. I stopped eating tofu. I, yeah, I completely had stopped eating all that stuff because it was hurting me, literally, to the point I wasn't even enjoying my life. So the difference between one place and the other. Plus, when I was on the West Coast, I was homeless for a year. I literally was digging my food out of a trash can for a while. And most places when I throw out food, guess what? It's not vegan, but either that you eat or you don't. You eat the veggies and you don't get enough nutrition so you can work your two and a half jobs while homeless. <laughs> or you just starve and die. So I had to be vegetarian for us for a little moment just so I can have a little bit of sustenance because all that stuff, we were homeless. I could not cook. I could not cook. Most of those vegan products have to be cooked and they're high in salt and they're not even very nutritious as you know, you would think. 
And I was a junk food vegan for a while because that was also accessible while I was homeless. Like the vegan chips and stuff that was like quick and easy and, and not, oh, I'm being vegan. I'm, I'm saving the planet, so to speak. And I had people around me that I wanted to be vegan with me. Oh, you should do this, do this, you know, do this with me. And, and it wasn't their path. And now again, looking at it hindsight, um, I was wrong for forcing people or making people feel forced to be vegan along with me or plant-based if that's something that they didn't want to do. And as I told you guys before, the things that were getting me down was I noticed that my hair was thinning. At first, it seemed like veganism was making my hair thicker. And, and then all of a sudden, I noticed that my hair was thinning. Um, I was getting my baby hairs were, were changing on my arms. Um, I don't have hair too much on my legs anymore um, because of my veganism. Um, I noticed that my skin was changing, but I also noticed that my I'm getting older. My skin's going to change anyways. I don't care what y'all say, but, um, you know, I'm almost 50 years old, guys. But since I stopped being vegan, yes, my hair has grown back. In fact, I have baby hairs on the back of my neck now that I didn't have before. Um, I have new hair growth on my legs again. I still have some of the old hair growth, but I still have you know, enough where I can actually grab a little bit of my hair on my legs now. Um, I have gained some weight. I gained some healthy weight. Before I was too thin, um, I was like 105, and I'm five foot four and a half. Include my half inch, darn it. <sighs> but um, I was a little too thin. I was getting sick a lot before. When I was vegan, I'm looking at this hindsight. I didn't, I didn't see it then, but I was sick a lot. I was getting colds in the summertime, in the wintertime, in the springtime. This is in the West Coast where it's always warm all the time. There's no need for like rainy weather um, to get you sick. Um, I mean, it. I was, I was allergies like crazy. Um, sinus pressure, I mean, that might, the sinus pressure might be an outside thing, not veganism, but I'm just saying the little symptoms I was having that I don't get now, okay? Um, like I said, I am getting older. Um, I am getting wiser, getting more mature, I think. Also, the things I was having problems with, 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 with my memory, I was starting to get frustrated at myself because I would forget things I would say and two seconds later, right, or even right after I'd say it. And I would have like these brain fogs. I would have these blocks of memory fogs. And I actually recorded myself one time and it took me 25 minutes to remember one thing. And I looked at myself and went, what is wrong with me? I couldn't put two and two together because, you know, I was deficient in so many different things. So now I have way better clarity in my brain. I remember things so much faster. I remember them for a lot longer. I don't have that brain fog anymore. Um, I have, uh, like I said, I've gained a little bit of weight. In which I needed that healthy weight. People want to be super thin, but that not, that may not be your healthy weight. That might be somebody else's healthy weight, but it may not be your healthy weight. It may not be your path. So me being thin like that was not doing me a service. It was actually doing me a disservice. And I was making me sicker and weaker in so many ways. And now, now that I'm not vegan anymore, my uh, iron deficiency anemia, I will always have 
iron deficiency anemia for the rest of my life, okay? Just because you have IDA yesterday, you're going to have it until you, the day you are no longer here no more. I don't care what anybody else tells you. You're going to have IDA for the rest of your life once you've got it. You just got to be able to manage it. But now my IDA is now at a 10, which is a big improvement from 1.2 or even the 6. So I, I'm i feeling a lot better. Um, I'm not have pain anymore. Um, I'm just feeling oh, so much better now that I'm not vegan. I'm able to enjoy a little bit of little proteins now. I do eat eggs as well. That's another thing that I was lacking is in B12. And I had a very, very, very hard time because of the lack of B12 to be able to even properly think as well. And also B12 helps with iron, I discovered. Who knew, you know? And because I've, I'm, I'm doing stuff that's for my path, um, that's all I care about is my path. I don't care... If, if it's not your path, if it's not your path, it's not your path. But this is my path. Now, if you being vegan is your path, keep doing it. But also seek a doctor, seek a, seek a nutritionist as well. I also would like to apologize as well for giving unwarranted vegan advice. Um, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a licensed nutritionist of any kind at all whatsoever. But I do advise you guys to go to a doctor before becoming vegan. Or if you are vegan, seek a doctor. Get your blood work done. Because I had issues with my potassium levels as well. But I also had problems with my uh, white blood count being three times what it was supposed to be. Because... I found out I had cancer. That's how, that's one of the ways I found I had cancer. So keep all that in mind. You know what I mean? When you guys are becoming vegan, or if you want to do any dietary change in your life, go see a doctor first. Because what works with your body, your health issues, won't, will or will not work with veganism. You have to make sure you eat enough protein. You have to make sure you have to eat enough vitamin B12 and B6s and your omegas and your fatty acids. And and you have to make sure you're active and you're not sitting, you know what I mean? But the problem that I had as a vegan is that I'm constantly eating all the time just to get all those um, calories and nutrition and those macros and all that fun stuff in. And I wasn't even enjoying it anymore after a period of time. And if you're not enjoying your food, you're going to sway off the path. You know what I mean? Another thing I noticed, I'm going to show you real quick. Just bear with my camo-ness here. Um, sorry, my bed's a mess. But it is what it is. My wrists, I have very thin wrists and I'm getting older. So my hands are, you know, dry. I have dry skin naturally. But I also do a lot of dishes at work. Um, a lot of dishes. My wrist was getting really severely bony. And I was, I barely had any flesh. So now I have, my skin is, um, I filled out a little bit better. I got a little bit fatter on the abdomen. I will admit that. But you know what? I don't care no more. <laughs> I am a healthy weight that I need to be. I don't get sick like I used to get. My hair is actually growing back. My hair is actually growing back. And when I was vegan, my hair actually went gray. My hair went gray or grayer or even faster when I was vegan. And now that I'm no longer vegan. My hair is growing back. And yes, I'm getting older, but I have my grays. But guess what? I don't have that many grays anymore. And I was born with some silver hair as well. So, I mean, even my eyebrows filled out. My, my eyebrows were thinning. My 
hollows of my eyes here. I'm not as thin. I'm not as thin here. I'm an average size now than I'm supposed to be. I'm healthier. And I feel like I'm healthier mentally as well and emotionally and I um, and spiritually. I think I'm able to finally think about my actions from what I've done before and really reflect in a healthy way. Now, before when I was vegan, my everything was so um so foggy so to speak and i do attribute part of this transition to my fiance um because he's not vegan but he was willing to try some of these things with me and he showed me like the different salts he's, he's actually really into like the salt and sugar intakes and he was reassuring me how all these vegan proteins have all this salt in them and was making you fat and bloated and creating so much issues for your liver and your kidneys and all your vital organs to process some of these things. So he's made it to my awareness, you know, like salts and fats inside these vegan proteins and burgers and junk foods and stuff like that and they're not even healthy the majority of them are not even healthy so i decided to not even eat them any longer no longer buy them any longer even if i did have the coupons for them because there's no point now like i told you guys i am now a vegetarian i'm 90 percent well how do I say this? I I eat a lot of vegan stuff still. A lot. Okay. I don't eat the overprocessed crap any longer. Um, I also eat vegetarian when I go out to eat at a place if I can't veg if I can't veganize it uh properly. Okay. You can veganize a lot of things, but if you don't get the make a balance of good and bad when you're out, there's no point. So I eat vegetarian when I'm out as well. And I also eat now, <laughs> um, I eat eggs and I eat um, a little bit of fish now. So that is just like the diet or the lifestyle or the new thing I'm doing for the moment. Now, lastly, about why I'm not vegan. I do want to touch upon this part. My path is not your path. And to those that want to scrutinize and judge me or other vegans want to come along into here and scrutinize me because I am no longer vegan, that is your maturity level. That is your spirit level. Your level's here. Mine's up here. It's not saying that I'm better than you. It's just that I'm not going to go onto your channel and tell you, oh, you suck, you're a vegan. Or you suck, you're a vegetarian. Or you suck because you eat meat. Nope, I'm not going to say any of those things. Because your path is your path. And mine is my own. I'm not going to pass judgment onto you because I have, the only one I have to worry about judging is myself. And I finally come to the conclusion about being honest with my viewers, but honest with myself. And that is the most important thing and the most important gift I can give to myself is to be honest and to love myself enough to be honest. I hate lying. I hate liars. I hate people who string you along. I hate deceivers. I hate all that. And I don't want to be falling into a path where I'm deceiving people or feeling like I'm lying to people because that is not how I operate. That's not my frequency. I've been working on a lot of spiritual work on myself. And part of that is also no longer being vegan. You're probably going to say as a vegan, well, you know, you rescue animals, you know, you're into saving animals. 
And I'm like, yes, I rescue animals. Yes, I do. But at the same time, being vegan is no longer my path. And if you feel like you want to come along and be disrespectful and judge me on my path, that's on you because my path, you don't walk it. I walk on my own path. If I decide to go back and being 100% vegan, then I will be 100% vegan again. However, it's not my path at this present moment. My health, my body, with all my different issues with my digestion, um, especially after I came back from battling cancer, my digestion went through the roof, like in a bad way. And I didn't see it then. Um, I do supplement with vegan vitamins. I still do. And yes, they're 100% vegan. All my supplements are vegan. All my facial products I use, including my makeup, are all vegan. Um, almost all my clothes are all vegan, I believe. Unless this jacket has missing something, I don't know. Anyway, um, but I keep wanting to digress into another point. The things that you use as a person like the computer you're using, the phone you're using, the the lamp you're using, the electricity you're using. The electricity you're using came from fossil fuels from animals that have died a long time ago. So for those that want to say, oh, well, you know, I'm vegan. Well, you're using electricity. And even if you were using candles, most candles were made from beeswax. Comes from bees. Um, from the makeup or the plastics that you use in your products that hold your products, your pens you write with, um, the drinks you drink out of, um, everything is, most of that is not vegan. So, I mean, that's just something for you guys to think about. Now, I will show you guys my vitamins and stuff like that I use. They are, again, 100% vegan, but I still can't digest complex proteins on a personal basis. It sucks. I get extreme pain. I feel like I have, like, a blockage in my stomach, even through my intestines. I have a hard time going... <laughs> um, I have a hard time... And just because I'm not vegan doesn't mean it gives you to write to go on and rant on me or try to make me feel bad about it. Yes, I initially went vegan for the animals after the fact, after my health, of course. I've always been honest that I went vegan for my health first. But this time I'm going non-vegan for my health as well. I also noticed something else with my health as a vegan. My nails would constantly break and they would grow long, but it'd suddenly be fragile and break. And because I work so much now, <laughs> my nails are solid, but they don't grow past a certain point either. So that might not even be a vegan or non-vegan issue regarding the nails. But the hair, oh my gosh, big difference in my hair. I have new baby hairs in the back of my head now even new baby hairs here that i didn't have before my hairline was receding as a vegan and now my hairline is come back a little bit more and i have more hair now and my hair is actually growing again my hair actually stopped growing for a minute my hair's really long man uh, <laughs> and uh i haven't cut my hair or trimmed my hair in like 20 years this is my hair as a now non-vegan also my hair would break off a lot easier when i was a vegan and now that my i'm getting the actual oils that i need for my my scalp and my skin is coming through my hair now i have less breakage and i have less the uh split ends and i again i haven't cut my hair in like 20 years so let me go ahead and show you those vitamins really quick and things like that that i take on a daily basis
Okay, guys, this is the vegan vitamins I take every day. So I do take vegan supplements every day. Um, that's just how I do it. It's just because I'm not vegan anymore, I'm more vegetarian now. It doesn't mean that I don't take vegan vitamins still. I still take these. It is from a company called Blue Bonnet. These are vegan, 100% liquid. And this is the back of the bottle. It cost me $40 a bottle. But to me, it's worth it because it absorbs mostly into your system. I'll put the um, label either here or here. Just look on either side of me. Um, I'll put the nutritional label. I personally like it. You may not like it. It smells like vitamins. And it's green until I use it. <laughs> Um, I have like two more bottles because <laughs> um, I, I like it so much. It's the only few vitamins I actually like taking. The other supplement that I take, and it's vegan. Um, like I said, none of these are sponsored. And since I'm a woman, I take Flora Iron from Flora. It's also a B vitamin complex as well. And, um, this is right here. This is the label. I forgot. I think I spent like $20 a bottle on this. But I'll put the label in front and back. So you guys can see what I take. Um, let me open it. It's like a heavy smell. Oh, yeah. It smells like a smoothie with bananas, apples, vitamins. Yeah, <laughs> it smells like apple and banana. Um, you only know, you take a you take a spoonful of that as well, and then I take this every day. And yes, I buy bottles of these. <laughs> I bought my fiance some too. He's got his own bottle. I buy this stuff from Crown Essence from Flora as well. I buy good, high quality liquid vitamins, and these are vegan. And I use these, um, and they're kosher, gluten free. But anyway, it helps with the urinary tract. And people who get infections, as I get older, you get infections. And, and you know, my body is getting older. So I still take vegan supplements. And um, I, 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 you have to. You know what I mean? You have to take some form of supplements. You know what I mean? You're not going to stay young forever. You know what I mean? And even if you were young... You know, you got to take care of your body for old age so you can last and be strong and be able to walk and take care of yourself in old age, just in case you don't have anybody with you. Now, I want to drive this point home. And I want to make it very plain. For those that want to come at me that are vegan, that want to come at me because I'm no longer vegan. Come at me. I'm not afraid of a fight or an argument. But I'm not going to engage with you either. Because my path is not your path. The way I walk, the way I live, is not the way you live. And I'm not going to judge you. But later down the road, when you decide to not do this anymore, no one's going to be like, we told you so. But we're going to say, oh, well, that's, that, that was your path. And now your new path is this. Just like when you're driving down the road, you're not driving down in a linear road. You have to go different down different paths and different grooves in your life. And this is just one more for myself to get to the destination I need to be. And that destination is my health. And I've always told you guys, your health is your wealth. Above all else, if you have to change your ideals, your thinking, the way you do things, then by all means, do that. Change it. Your health is your wealth. Your wealth is not defined by if you got the latest headphones, if you got the latest device or the latest computer, or you got the latest clothes or the latest makeup, 
If you're not alive to enjoy it, there's no point. So me being vegan is to preserve, was to preserve my life, but it's not the path for me any longer. And yes, I used to be an ethical vegan as well regarding the whole animal cruelty thing. I have moved here to the South and it has changed the way I think about ethical this and ethical that. Um, it has changed. I'm not saying it's good or bad. I do not like the fact that, you know, animals get tortured and slaughtered and all that stuff. I don't like that because I rescue animals. I have a lot of animals in my current rescue right now. And I have them with different ailments. And sometimes I adopt animals that have cancer and will only be with me for a matter of days or a couple of months. And, but I have to do what is right for my health. I can't even digest vegan co complex proteins without eating yogurt. It sucks. Okay. Also, people out here, there's not that many vegan this and vegan that. So, if, again, if you want to come at me and judge me, want to come at me, by all means, please do. I don't care. This is my path. My path is my path. For I value my health, and this is what I need to do for my health. If no one don't like it, I don't care.